This is uh, Ohio's time in history. We're seeing people come off the West Coast, the East Coast, companies. Uh, there's no better place to live than Ohio, no better place to start a business, no better place to grow a business. Amen, Mike. Soon, Ohio will be home to the new Intel plant in Licking County, which is down near Columbus. But this week, Governor Mike DeWine visited Lubrizol in our part of the state to discuss the statewide reach Intel will have. Intel's decision to build the world's largest chip manufacturing facility in Ohio, and it brings with it many opportunities for a region. That's big. Yeah, really exciting. A transformation that will, uh, an additional transformation, excuse me, that would have gone somewhere else if it weren't for a local auto worker. In this week's Mission Possible, Brandon Simmons takes us inside how the Intel deal was done and how the workforce of the future is being trained right now. Their mission to build a greater Cleveland. Meet the people, the projects, and the products that will move Northeast Ohio forward. Welcome to Mission Possible. Intel has chosen Ohio. <laughs> Microchip giant Intel has visions of two new factories valuing $20 billion in the Columbus area. This single record-breaking investment in Ohio began with a simple email. I'm writing this to share with you the reasons that Lorain, Ohio needs to be considered as the ideal place to manufacture semiconductor chips. Lorain City Councilwoman Mary Springowski wanted a company to revitalize this industrial park on the banks of the Black River. She witnessed the chip shortage firsthand as an auto worker at Ford in Brook Park. Springowski crafted her email to manufacturers from the engine plant's factory floor. Intel wrote back. This would be a good place. We had a couple hundred acres. I didn't know they needed 1,000 to 1,500 acres. That's a lot of land. Given a three-day deadline to find a new site, Springowski brought in Team Neo and Jobs Ohio. We said, you know, we don't think we have it. It's not that we can't have it, but not in three days. And we had a choice. We could continue to look uh, or we could take advantage of the fact that Columbus actually thought they had it. Though New Albany is the site chosen by Intel, Northeast Ohio still has plenty to gain. What can we do to, to identify the companies that are already the suppliers here or maybe customers of uh, Intel down the road uh, so that we can make sure they have the support that they need to want to make additional investment here? That additional investment could happen soon. Intel is pledging $50 million into higher ed programs here in Ohio to build the needed workforce. Among those in line to benefit, Microelectrical Mechanical Systems, or MEMS, at Lorain County Community College. I never thought in my lifetime I'd ever be able to say, working in Ohio, that Intel would be hiring some of our students. But I think that's a strong possibility. We're training students how to work in a clean room that's within arm's reach of their facilities. From manufacturing chips to building circuit boards, students learn while employed by one of the program's 80 partners. I really like that what I learn in the classes is directly applied to the jobs that I'm getting, the internships. You've got the equipment you're learning to use in class and then at the same time I'm going to work and using the same equipment that we're learning to use in class. So. That's kind of a, a beautiful merger right there. John Vanderford says he posts 10 to 15 jobs weekly for students. Thanks to Intel, the demand will only increase. We want to train people up to work for companies that are within our area, and now Intel's in our area. We want to train folks to be able to work with them too. Leveraging Ohio's educational institutions to build the workforce is just one benefit of Intel's investments. Instead of us being a rust belt, we're an opportunity belt. I'm Brandon Simmons, 3 News.